Hi guys, my name is Hussain and in this video we'll go over a very common problem in 3ds Max. I'm sure a lot of you guys are already familiar with this problem. Sometimes when you're opening 3ds Max, before it gets opened, the viewport goes completely white or completely black. Now this problem is related to your GPU card. Now in this video, I'm here to give you two solutions for it. Now, as you can see in the video, after I open 3ds Max, I get this error message and my viewport has gone completely white. Now, we can take care of this problem in two different ways and if you follow me to the end of the video, I'll tell you about them in a second. Let me just hit OK here and after I do that, the program gets closed. Now, the first thing that we need to do here is to check if our graphic drivers are up to date. Now, how can we know what type of graphic card is installed in our PC? Now, the easiest method is to right click on your My Computer or this PC icon and go over to Device Manager here. Now, depending on what version of Windows you're running, Device Manager can be in a different location, but you can easily search for it in your computer. Now, simply click on Device Manager and go to Display Drivers. And there you can see your GPU model. For example, I have an RTX 3070. Now, all I have to do is to search for the latest drivers from my graphic card and then make sure that they are installed. Updating a graphic card drivers takes care of a lot of bugs and problems in 3ds Max. So make sure you do it. Now, let's check the second solution. For this one, we go to Start, Autodesk, and from the drop-down menu, we choose Change Graphic Mode. Now, as we are waiting for our 3ds Max program to load and open, what we're going to do now is to test out a few display driver selection options and see which one works the best for us. Let me just move this window right here. Okay, now as you can see, we have different options available. For instance, I can use the recommended option, Nitro's Direct 3D11, and I hit OK. Now, selecting the right display driver here takes care of our problem and the next time that we open 3ds Max, we will not have that completely white viewport problem. Now, as you can see, mine has opened and my viewport is back to normal. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.